I've been tasked with some more jobs for my mother, and that's to build some shelves to go in an alcove. What I've got to make it is some rough sawn oak, because this is by far the cheapest way to do it, but it's more work for me. Now, I don't want to take the boards over there like this, so what I'm going to do is get them marked out and cut down just slightly oversized so I can do the final trimming when I'm on site. To get them roughly cut to size, I'm just going to use the jigsaw. Pieces are cut to a more manageable size, but they're still rough. So next job is to get one side of them planed down. With one side of the boards all done, now I can get the machine reconfigured and get them all brought down to the same thickness. So these are all planed down and the same thickness now. Now the alcoves they're going into have a chimney breast which sticks out 50 centimetres and the other side is 20 centimetres. So the shelves are going to be 20 centimetres wide which is what they are already from the timber yard and they already have a nice square edge on them. But I want one shelf that's going to be wider so you can get bigger books on so I'm going to get two boards glued together and then when I'm on site, I'm going to get it worked out and cut so it tapers in to the 20 centimetre on the other end. So I need to put a straight edge. I know I said they've got straight edges, but they're not jointing good enough. So I'm going to get them planed down. I'm going to try using my electric planer for the first time. I was interested to try my new tool, but I don't think it's the best thing for jointing boards. I'm now happy with the edges I've got on these so I can get them glued together. I think the electric planer is maybe more of a construction tool than a jointing tool, but we definitely have another go with it in the future. I've got some scraps of three by two that I'm going to get on the top and the bottom and clamp to keep it all flat. Whilst I wait for the glue to dry on that panel, I'm going to make some wooden brackets. It's not a large span of the alcove, so my idea is to have a bracket on either side to hold up the shelves. So I've got some scraps of oak that I'm going to get planed down and then brought down to the same thickness. Now I'm going to get all these bits ripped down to the same width and then when I've done that I can get them cut to their final length which is just going to be slightly shorter than the shelves themselves. I left this overnight, so the glue's dried it now, so time to get the clamps off, and then I'm gonna give it a sand down. I'm also gonna give all the other bits of shelving a sand down, and then, when I'm on site, after I've done the final cuts, I can give them a last sand. I've given all these blocks a sand down. Now, I need to get some holes drilled into them, so I can mount them to the wall. So, I'm just gonna mark out 
on the first one where the holes need to go. Now, I've already made a mistake because they're all 20 centimeters long, or just short actually, 19 for the shelves, but I forgot one half of one shelf needs to be twice as long. So I haven't done that. I'm just gonna have to use two of these blocks. Right now, I'm gonna get the holes drilled in the first one using a drill guide so they're nice and straight. With the first one drilled, I'm gonna use that as a template to line up and get all the other ones done. To neaten up all these holes, I'm just gonna add a countersink to all of them. The last job is to get some finish applied to this, and I'm going for something I've not used before, and that's some beeswax oil. So, let's see what this works out like. I like the colour this is leaving the oak and hopefully it will leave a nice waxy finish. So as soon as this is all dry, I'm off to my mum's to get this installed. So I'll see you in Northampton. Hello everyone, so I'm in Northampton. This is Alcove 1, so I need to get it stripped out. I've taken some books out already and then above the TV is Alcove 2. So the first job is to get it marked out. Shelf one is going level with the ma uh, mantelpiece, so I can get the level and mark out where it needs to go. I can now get my mounting blocks I made lined up to my line and mark out the holes that need to be drilled with an awl. So with my marks made, I can get the first holes drilled out for the plugs. Now I can get the first one of my brackets into place. So I've got the brackets down one side. Now I need to get them down the other side. The trouble is the floor slopes one way, the ceiling slopes the other, all the walls slope different ways. So there's nothing to reference off. I think this would be the perfect job for a laser level. So what my plan is, is to get the shelves cut then I can get them lay, in, lay into place, get a level on them and mark out off the shelf where the bracket needs to go. I don't that's the best way to do it, but I think it will work. So I've got one of these angle finders and I'm gonna get that set and mark out where I need to cut the first board. Now I can work out what the length of the shelf needs to be. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my internal measuring tape with me. And then I can work out what the angle needs to be at the other end and get that marked out. To cut these angles, I'm going to use the circular saw. Right, let's get these shelves offered up. So, sat on the first bracket, lowered down. Okay, well, I'm staying there with a friction fit, so hopefully we're about right. Yeah, that seems all right. Now I've got this into place and level. I can mark out where the next bracket needs to go and just keep working my way up. I've installed the three brackets on the other side, so now I'll get these shelves put in place. Now, I've just put a little label, one, two, three, on the back of these shelves. Get it the right way around. Um, just so I'll be able to get them back into place again. Now this bottom shelf is the one that sticks out past there. So now 
I want to draw a curve on here and I've got my meter rule which I'm just going to bend around and draw out on. I'm now going to get this curve cut using the jigsaw. Now I need to get this curve sanded down along with all the other shelves. With these boards all sanded down, now I need to get some finish on them. So with this stuff, you've got to apply a small amount working it in with a lint-free cloth then leave it for an hour and come back and wipe away any excess the oil's dry on these now but before i can get a second coat on you give it all a rub down with some fine wire wool the finish feels really silky after that rub down. Now it's just repeating step one, rubbing the oil in, leaving it an hour to dry, and then coming back to buff it off. All right, let's get these on the wall. So these should now all just drop into place. So the shelves are up in both alcoves, but now we've got this TV stand that doesn't match anything. So it's back to the workshop to make a new one to fit into here. Back in the workshop, and I've been doing this project for quite a while now. So actually in between the kind of doing the shelves and this bit, I've actually redecorated. Anyway, when I was doing the shelves, I actually planed down some extra boards and got them glued up into a panel like I did for the bottom shelf. So I have those all done but now I need to get them cut down. So I'm gonna rip them down on the table saw to bring them all down to the same size and make sure the sides are parallel. I've got all the bits at the same size. Now I need to get them cut. And really, I'm just making a box. It's four sides put together. So I could get them cut and screwed together, but I want to make it a bit more interesting and look a little nicer. So what I think I'm going to do is use the track saw and cut it down at 45 degrees and miter the corners. All the panels are cut to size and I've given them a sand down. Now I need to get them glued together. I'm going to get some PVA wood glue applied and then I'm going to use some of these Collins clamps to get it all put together. With this all clamped up, I'm now just going to leave it overnight to dry and come back to this tomorrow. This is all glued up now, but I need a shelf to go in here and I've got one more panel glued up. So I'm just going to get that cut down to size. For the spacing of the shelf, DVDs are still just about a thing and they have some. So I'm going to use a scrap of wood and some DVDs to work out the height the shelf needs to go. To get this shelf held in place, I'm gonna get it screwed in. I'm gonna draw some pilot holes with a countersinking bit and then get the screws put into place. Now 
Now I've got the screws out, I'm gonna do some reinforcing. All these corners are just mitres glued together. Now, I think they probably would be absolutely fine, but I'm gonna whack a few screws in just to make sure. All these holes now need plugging. So I've gone to the drill press and cut some plugs that I can now get popped out and glued in. The glue's now dry on these, so I can get them all trimmed off. With those all trimmed flush, I'm now just gonna give the whole thing a sand down. Now, one of the things my demanding client requested was the ability for this unit to be able to pull out. So what I've got is some retro style casters to go on this. I'm just gonna position them on here and mark out where they go. And then I'm gonna get some holes drilled for some threaded inserts. Time to get this finished, and I'm going for the same finish obviously as the shelves, so this just gets put on, rubbed in, left for an hour, buffed off, and then tomorrow I'm going to rub it with some wire wool and get a second coat on. The finish is now all dry on this, so I can just get these wheels bolted into place. Time to see if this is going to fit. Well, it's going to fit. That's always a relief. So that's it all done. Push back into the alcove. In fact, it can go deeper in there if you want it. And then if there's people sat over there that need to view it, you've got a house full. You can pull it out and pull it round or clean under it. Um, just need to tidy up the cables behind there a bit. So that's it all done. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.